What's up YouTube, how's it going? We are here in Portland, Oregon. I uh, decided to stop and just hang out for like a week or so before going back home after Ecom Hub Summit in Vancouver, Canada, which was awesome. Hopefully that video is already up by the time you're seeing this one. Maybe they went out of order because that one might be complicated to edit, but that event was absolutely incredible and I'm doing a whole recap, what I learned, how it was, lots of clips from the event as well. And it definitely got me thinking of a lot of things that I want to be talking about more here on the channel. One of those being I just did a Q&A on Instagram and one of them had to do with what I thought was the next best scalable opportunity outside of Amazon FBA. And it got me thinking a lot about just physical product brands in general because that's where my mind still gravitates completely. That's just what I'm familiar with. That's obviously my background. And it got me thinking a lot just about what I am, am bullish on and have been now for a year but still haven't got into, which is consumable products and replenishable products. So then you're playing the LTV game, the lifetime value game, meaning once I get you as a customer, how much are you worth to me every month or over the course of the next few years? And it's a completely different game and a game that I wanna start playing and also just taking a multi-channel approach. You know, maybe you launch a innovative product on Kickstarter and then you bring it to Amazon and your own Shopify store and then eventually into retail distribution. So, you know, if you hear me talking about brands and starting Amazon FBA products as being more than just Amazon FBA, that's what I'm talking about is like, like the potential is crazy when you really factor in these multi-channel approaches. Um, and even more so if you factor it in with LTV where these customers could be coming back to you for more products and again and again if it's something replenishable. So we're about to, Jessica's here, we're about to head to a casual meetup that I just threw together in Portland. Probably just a few people but should be fun. Uh, real quick, I wanted to show you one thing. So check this out, let me give a quick refresh. This, I had a pretty big lightning deal this morning so that's pretty exciting. Oh, and you can see the time of day that it is right now. And I think I even have a second lightning deal scheduled later, so we'll see if that one hits or not. Um, hopefully I'll remember to give an update on that at the end of the day, or hopefully I'll still be awake by then. Been going to sleep earlier, but we'll see. Anyways, to the meetup, let's go. Meet up in Portland. What's up? All right, so back at the Airbnb from the meetup. Uh, thanks to the handful of you that came out. It was a lot of fun hanging out. It's cool that it was kind of like a little bit more of an intimate small meetup uh, that it is in. Portland. I guess there's less of a crowd of you guys here in Portland than I'm used to in LA, but it was fun to hang out with a handful of you. And I didn't film that much just to not put a, a couple people on the spot too much, but like something that came up that I really wanted to dive deeper into was questions about launch strategy and how to effectively launch a product on Amazon, of course. You know, there's always this talk about how to get to page one and all of this stuff. And something that came up that I really wanna dive into is that what I said is that even me or anybody that I know, save for a couple absolutely incredible marketers that I know, is that I can't take a crappy offer and market the crap out of it and succeed. Like, I can't do that. That's not my strategy, that's not what I do. So much of your launch strategy and breaking through with what will be a successful product on Amazon comes down to not just the launch strategy, but having a product offer. I talk a lot about the offer. I've been saying this for a long time and this is something that came up at the event too and with several of the speakers, so I was really glad that it was getting some attention. And it's that look, if, if there's no reason that your product is the one to be chosen by your customers, then why are they going to choose it? If you wouldn't choose yours, why would they? So this is about crafting your positioning, your everything about the product in such a way that it is actually a compelling purchase, right? Because if your product is not unique enough 
to where it's a better offer than your competitors that even if you market it all these amazing ways it's just not going to it's not going to break away from the others right it's not going to be able to compete and really take that market share if there's no valid reason other than the fact that you're forcing it in front of people that'll get some sales but that will just continue to get more and more competitive and expensive as more and more people are spending on marketing and all of that in your particular niche so as you're getting ready to launch your product, which I'm in no way saying that launch strategies and stuff like that are not important, they are important, but I think that this other area that needs to be coupled with your launch strategy doesn't get enough attention and that is coming up with a good offer. So how do you come up with a good offer? So when I mentioned crafting your offer, I get that that's like a heady, hard to explain concept. So cut me some slack here because it is hard to explain. But what I'm really talking about is basically everything that goes into how your product is positioned against your competitors and any reason that someone would choose yours against theirs or theirs against yours if, if, uh, if your competitors are, are watching this video and you're not implementing what I'm talking about. So, you know, this comes down to things as basic as pricing, quantities, what's in your bundle or accessories, you know, all differentiation is a part of this. So everything we talk about with differentiation generally is all part of crafting your offer. And, and our overall goal here is to make our product in some way be more value than our competitors. And value can be a tricky thing because a lot of times when we hear that ours needs to be more value, we think like, oh, well it needs to be more for less price or it needs to be the same but cheaper like that's kind of how we've been trained to think about value you know we think about like walmart and and like you know crappy convenience stores and we think about just like value 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 like fast food you know they're throwing more stuff in the box for five bucks or whatever but that is definitely one factor to value but that's not the best one to play the amazon game with because it's really hard to just be constantly driven down on price and price and price. It's just not a game that you want to play. So I'd rather play the other game, which is figuring out how we can give our product additional value or additional perceived value and make ours stand out as the authority in whatever niche or marketplace or interest or hobby or however our product fits into our customer's journey. Like what is our customer really doing for them? How can we, you know, make that a better experience with bonus accessories with bonus information with a better with better branding with better design with better storytelling with bringing this customer more overall help and value on whatever it is that this product is a part of helping them with and that's really not even the whole thing because you also have to think about just pure listing design and copywriting and selling like these are all things that will influence the way your product is perceived against competitors that might be almost identical in terms of the actual product here. So, you know, this is how are you how are you handling your copywriting in your title bullets description? How are you optimizing your listing for keywords in the back end to help you rank and get in front of more people? You know, are you running any any visible promotions to help sweeten the deal just a little bit, any any sense of scarcity, any like exclusivity to your product that makes yours just look like the legitimate source amongst a pile of crappy private label sellers that you are trying to crush. So while launch strategies are absolutely important piece, no matter what you learn about the craziest new hot URL, <laughs> ranking strategy, you know, many chat, whatever. If your offer sucks, if your offer is not compelling, if your offer is not convincing and helpful and a good value, a good choice for your end customer, why the hell are people gonna choose you? And as I mentioned earlier, the way that I personally always like to think about this is, would I choose it? So would you choose it, right? Put yourself in your buyer's shoes, in your customer's shoes, and look at the competition and evaluate it and figure out, you know, what are these guys doing wrong that I could do better? What are the room, what room is there for improvement? You know, reading through the negative reviews and figuring out the problems, looking at the complaints, looking at what people really like about it. Maybe it's, maybe you can have different messaging in your product bringing out those positives that nobody is thinking to really bring out. 
they could be using it for something totally else. So analyzing all of that stuff and baking it into the formula that is your product and that is the way that you're gonna cut through and everything else will become easier. I cannot market a crap product, but a great product can market itself. Ooh, that sounded good, but thought of that on the fly. Anyways, hope you liked this video. Please do subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed. Hit that bell, you gotta hit the bell to be truly subscribed. Smash the like button on this video and every video that I post, it really does help uh, feed the algorithm. Drop a comment no matter what it is, whether it's a question, video idea, uh, or just simply that you're feeding the algorithm, it would be much appreciated. Check out the links in the description below this video if you want to you know, take this further. There's a free entrepreneurship and Amazon Facebook group down there that you can join. There's my Zero to Brand course, that is everything A to Z, Amazon building a brand that leverages Amazon to start with and beyond. Uh, that's down there for you to check out, um, as well as links to a bunch of resources and all that type of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Take care. All right, so this is pretty much where we're ending. 9.20 p.m., second lightning deal. Pretty sweet to see that. Obviously, that's not a typical day, and there's fees involved with running lightning deals and all that, but still pretty awesome to see that on a day. So, yeah.